Peace everyone, this is Amira here with the Beleza Artistica channel, and this is an empty henna cone. I don't like to waste these cones, and if there's a little bit in it, I like to make something out of it. So I made this piece right here. Um, it took me quite a while to finish it just because I had to take a lot of breaks and do things in real life. But in the end, we got it done like we always do, better late than never. So as I was shooting this video, I wasn't really sure the direction I wanted to go with it. I was thinking all kinds of things, but I didn't want to do just a regular time lapse or just like, God forbid, me doing it at regular speed. <laughs> Only because it took me like, seemed like hours to get this done um, because I was going slower than I usually like to, which then led me to the idea of doing like a behind the scenes or like an in my mind type of thing. Like the creative process of what goes into making the designs or what goes through my mind when I'm making these designs. So when I start any design, I usually like to start with a pattern, do that a few times, and then start to build upon it from there. And usually after I've chosen the pattern that I'm gonna use or start with, I just, start thinking from then on about like a multitude of things <laughs> like what am i gonna do next and oh my god that line looks sloppy or oh my gosh i'm not doing this as well or as fast as i think i should have done it but eventually i find my stride and then i start to just enjoy the process of just letting it flow and going with it and most of the time, if I can add some dots, my life feels a whole lot better. There is just something about dots that is really calming to me. And if I can drape lines without breaking them, oh my goodness. Ooh! But on a more serious tip, sometimes I do feel like there's some monotony in henna with certain patterns that I don't particularly favor. And one of the things I like to do to get through those is to just keep doing them, keep working on them, and knowing that in the end, it's going to look awesome. To me, it's a lot like life. There are those mundane, tedious, repetitious things that we do every day, and we don't look at them as very important, but if we didn't do them, our lives would be a lot more hectic and out of control, and we wouldn't be able to accomplish those bigger, better, more interesting things that we look forward to. After all that being said, one of my favorite things that I found that I really enjoy doing in henna is swirls, very thick lines, and just getting lost in them and just going with the with the curves and the swirls and the swoops and the swishes and all that stuff just kind of getting carried away in it all and just letting it flow from me and that is most honestly my sweet spot and where I feel the most at home when I'm doing henna. I also have kind of a rebellious side when it comes to henna and just in life in general where I feel like I want to break away sometimes from the pretty and the expected. Sometimes I just want to go outside of the box, do things that nobody does because they're not pretty off the rip. <laughs> Sometimes I also like to just challenge myself by making myself do different things in succession. Sometimes I just have this need to break free from convention and trend, to shake it up just so that I know I still can do something else. <laughs> and just as I said before about being most at home with the swirls and the swoops and such, getting out into the more jagged and pokey looking things, they're like venturing outside of my comfort zone and making me think and move forward and try new ideas instead of just sticking with the same old stuff all the time and i found this to be very helpful to me in my henna journey and 
this is one aspect I always want to be there so that I don't ever get complacent. Another thing that Henna's taught me over the years is to not sweat the small stuff, the imperfections that come up, the idiosyncrasies or the imperfections of the work um, when things don't line up just right, when things are a little bit off kilter. Um, before, a lot of these things would really bother me to my core, but over time I've learned to just go with it and to embrace it instead of trying to start over or really tripping about it. It's taught me that whenever you make a mistake, you can make something of that mistake and make it into something that is desirable and worthy and beautiful. So by learning that very important lesson for appreciating the art that I do, it also taught me how to appreciate myself and uh, the imperfections that I have and little quirks that I have to appreciate those things and see the beauty in it just as I see in the beauty and the imperfections of my work. And I'll be the first one to tell you that that's been a lifelong concept that I've been trying to accept for a very long time. We are now reaching the end of this henna cone, which means that we are reaching the end of this video as well. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed hearing a little bit more of like what goes on in my head when I'm making some of these designs and videos in particular. Um, I just thought it would be interesting to share a bit of the creative process with you guys so that maybe you can have a little bit more of an appreciation for the final products as you see them. Um, I am so grateful to be able to do henna for you guys, film it, and make these videos. I've been doing this for a few years now and you guys have just been awesome and I just want to thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace!